Hey, I'm back and let's talk about what's new in Japan in October 2016. Okay, so the first story I want to talk about is this strange one about a fashion blogger. Apparently she's popular, I hadn't heard of her before, but she likes doing fashion blogs and things, and she actually has an 8 year old son. And it was his birthday, he was turning 8 years old, and she thought, hmm, where should I have my son's birthday party? Lots of people would think like, oh, a theme park, uh, maybe even a nice restaurant, a park, your house, all those sound like good places, even the zoo maybe, but she decided maybe I should have it someplace that I like. So she decided I'll have it at a host club. What? 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 For those of you that don't know, host clubs are places for women that want to be entertained and they have like really good looking men who serve them drinks and flirt with them for money. And so this is probably a good place if you're maybe like a 20 year old woman or 30 year old, 40 year old, 50 year old woman and you want the companionship of, you know, a, a nice looking man. Probably not a good place if you're an 8 year old boy, but she thought, oh, I'll do this anyway. And she was criticized by the Twitter in Japan, Japanese Twitter I guess, and honestly with good reason. Another thing that lots of people were disturbed by is she dresses her son like a host. And I'm thinking like, why do you want your son to be a host? And why would your son like this? And so lots of people complain that you're treating your son like a doll and all sorts of things. And I don't know, I, I'm guessing the father isn't in this child's life because I can't imagine any father would put up with this kind of foolishness, but I don't know. Who knows? But at any rate, I, I thought this was strange and it was unbelievable. Speaking of unbelievable, the next story is about a man who was sleeping in a parking lot. And it's like, why would you be arrested for that? But then the police just came and like knocked on his window and like, what are you doing? And he's like, oh, I'm tired, I'm sleeping. And they looked in there and they found something that was illegal and caused him to get arrested. I know you're thinking like, oh, he probably had like drugs in there or you know he had a gun he's actually arrested for having too many throwing stars apparently in Japan throwing stars are illegal at least having too many of them so he had throwing stars and throwing knives and I guess this is illegal under like the Japanese gun and sword control act he had throwing stars and these knives because he said he really likes ninja and he makes some of the throwing stars, or I should say shuriken, himself and he likes to go you know, like practice with them and throwing them, which I think is an okay hobby. Apparently he had like a lot of them, like 170 or something, but that's a lot. But I guess maybe if you're you know, throwing throwing stars, you don't want to have like three and then have to go pick them up after you throw them. So I can understand a little bit. but. I was still surprised this law is in place. I, I don't know, I, I had to research, but I believe this Sword Control Act goes back to like the, the Meiji era, which is like 150 years ago, maybe more in Japan, where like samurai, or actually after the Meiji era, I'm sorry, I'm getting my eras confused. And at this time, samurai were outlawed, so you weren't allowed to carry swords, but apparently this is still going on, so I guess it's still illegal to carry a sword around in public in Japan, which I guess makes some sense, because you don't want people carrying swords, but honestly, who's getting murdered by swords? Is that really a big danger now that you need a law against it? But like I said, Japan's kind of slow to update their laws, so eh, whatever. But Please, somebody help this man. I don't, nobody should go to jail over throwing stars. Another one that was really interesting that I didn't know about was something called Hanakoman. And I know you've probably seen these samurai sigils or samurai coat of arms. They're similar to like the European coat of arms where a family would have it. And they have the same thing in Japan. But of course, if your family's not like samurai, you don't have those and foreign people don't have these. But there's actually another one which they're calling Hanakoman, and these are based on your birthday, so everyone has one for their birthday. And I'll try to leave the link to the website below so you can actually see it, but I actually have 
my own. This is for my birthday, and I thought, ah, oh, it's really cool. It's actually based on a flower, so like hana actually means flower in Japanese. And they, these are, I think all of them are based on different flowers. And they look really beautiful and it's really interesting. And on the site, you can order something, but to be completely honest, they're not really clear about what <laughs> they're selling. They just like show the picture and like, if you'd like to order this, it'll be delivered in this many days. And I'm like, what is delivered? Are you gonna, is it just this picture that's on your website? I don't know, hopefully they'll be more clear, but at least the site is in English. So please check that out and you can check out your own Hanakoman yourself. If you're looking for another way to spend money, I actually have one for you. There's a Japanese idol group that has kind of decided to get rid of those pesky handshake events. What a lots of groups are doing now is they have people buy CDs, and if you buy so many CDs, like five CDs or 10 CDs, you get to go and shake a member of the idol group's hand. This group said, let's just skip that. Just pay us cash and we'll talk to you. So they're setting up Skype sessions in periods of three minutes where you can talk to whichever idol member you want. The thing is, it's only three minutes and it costs 10,000 yen, which is like $100 for three minutes. And this is the thing I don't even understand. This group is not even popular. I think the name is called ISIS. I might be wrong about that, but if I'm right, that's an unfortunate name. <laughs> but this isn't like some you know, huge group where it's like, oh, they have you know millions of fans. So I don't know where they get off charging 10,000 yen for three minutes, but I don't know. People are spending tons of money on things, so maybe that's, that's where it comes in. This really strange thing about this is there's like so many people that want to pay this, but the idol world is a little bit strange because usually people are idols for just like a short amount of time, like maybe from like 16 to 20, and then they just stop and they become like normal people. So I figure like if you really like this person in the idol group, if you just wait like four years or something, you could probably get a date with them, really. It can't be that hard. I mean, that's the thing. They turn it from like idols into normal people. They don't stay famous. So it's like, you just kind of keep up with them, slide in their DMs in a few years. You too can have an idol girlfriend or wife. If not, just pay the 10,000 yen and get your three minutes, so that's interesting. And apparently there's some other group, it's like Idol Voice Actress Group, which I don't understand how is it, they have two jobs, but that one is a little bit more reasonable. It's like 3,500 yen for, I guess, three minutes, but it's still a little bit high, but I guess that's more affordable. <laughs> but if you really want to talk to an idol, you can do it. You have the ability now. As always, vote for your favorite story, leave me a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. I think I'm at 298 or 299 subscribers now, so please be that person to give me the 300th subscription. And uh, thank you everyone else for supporting me, and until next time, see you.